Okay, so we, we are here with Brandon from Bulls. Brandon, t you've got a couple unique things here. Tell us what you're showcasing as Sea Otter and what's a little unique with Bulls. Uh, so this year at Sea Otter, we have our full catalog out here for North America. It's all Bosch mid-drive uh, mid pedal assist bikes. We do road, we do mountain, we do commuter. We also have a 24-inch kids bike, Bosch powered, which is pretty cool, unique offering. Uh, but our really unique offerings are going to come from some of our commuter line and the crossover between our uh, mountain bike hardtails and our bike packing stuff. So for instance, we have the Copperhead Evo HD here, uh, which we set up as our bike packing rig. A lot of people do. It's also a great uh, cross use like commuter or trail bike but it can support a rolling and riding weight of 330 pounds wow. so that means you can have larger like big and tall riders ride it we can hand it throughout the the lineup in the family we can set it up for trail dig days tow a trailer put the bike packing rig on it put a kids ride shotgun set up and go commuting with the kid or bike packing with the kid and we even offer that in a step through version which supports the same rolling and riding weight so you're getting the same uh, smart system Bosch uh, mid-drive CX performance motor 750 watt hour battery of a Swiss Army knife of a bike that will truly accommodate anyone and anything that's crazy so it's this we can walk over here yep so it's this style frame yep but it can support up to 330 pounds correct of rider weight the whatever you want to put on it so uh, we have municipalities using them for security detail. We have a lot of parks and rec riders using them. And then we actually even over one in a five-year collaboration with the LAPD to make what is by far and away the ultimate badass police bike. Uh, and that is actually here our Sentinel if we want to look at that as well. Yeah, let's, let's look at that here because it's, I mean, it, honestly, I always get confused when I see cops riding around on an analog bike. Like, it doesn't make sense because the other... The other people are going to have an e-bike and they're going to get away from you. That's exactly it. And some of the time this tool, well, first of all, the tool needs to perform all day, every day. Mm -hmm. It needs king of the beat, no doubt. It needs to be able to take a beating. It needs to be used as a tool. Maybe it needs to be used as a defensive item. Uh, but we've gone all the way down to even the angle of this top tube was in design and collaboration with the LAPD's like shooting squad because this is the ultimate and like premium seating position to fire a firearm from a bicycle. Hmm. So uh, we've gone really far down the rabbit hole, over it in a million ways, uh, and set them up with lights and sirens and stuff too. Fun fact, you can buy a Sentinel for yourself if you want, uh, because it is basically a class three 28 mile an hour hardtail, which doesn't exist otherwise. Well, that's really cool. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And we can still load it up and use it in the same way that we can use the HDs. Mm -hmm. So it's it's meant to be a work truck, if we want it to be. Yeah. Otherwise, it can just be a fun trail bike or a tool for the job, if you happen to be that person. That's cool. You guys have a lot of cool stuff here. Thank you for kind of going, going over that. We've got a couple reviews of bull bikes coming out, so pay attention to that. But Brandon, thank you again. You're super welcome. Thanks for stopping by, EBR. Thanks.